the HE-177, with its distinctive appearance and powerful capabilities, earned a fearsome reputation on the battlefield. It was one of Germany's key strategic bombers, delivering devastating blows to enemy targets during the war. As World War II unfolded, Germany recognized the need for a long-range heavy bomber capable of striking deep into enemy territory. In response to this demand, the Heinkel company embarked on the ambitious project to create the HE-177. The HE-177 was designed to carry a formidable bomb load over extended distances, boasting impressive speed and maneuverability for an aircraft of its size. Its innovative design incorporated a unique paired engine configuration which offered both power and efficiency. However, the development of the HE-177 was not without its challenges. Technical issues plagued the early stages of production, including engine reliability problems and structural weaknesses. Despite these setbacks, the determination of the engineers and pilots persevered. Despite these initial hurdles, the HE-177 eventually entered service, proving to be a formidable asset for the German Luftwaffe. Its ability to strike deep into enemy territory and deliver devastating payloads played a significant role in shaping the course of the war. First up, the bomb load. The HE-177 was capable of carrying a staggering payload, with the ability to haul up to 6,000 kilograms or 13,000 pounds of bombs. This allowed it to deliver devastating blows to enemy targets. Now, let's talk crew. The HE-177 typically had a crew of five, a pilot, co-pilot, navigator, bombardier, radio operator, and gunner. Each member played a crucial role in ensuring the success of the mission. In terms of defense, the HE-177 was equipped with a formidable array of defensive armament. It featured multiple machine gun positions, including dorsal, ventral, and tail-mounted guns, to fend off enemy fighters. Now, let's talk about range and speed. The HE-177 had an impressive range of approximately 3,500 or kilometers, 2,175 miles, allowing it to conduct long-range bombing missions deep into enemy territory. Its top speed reached up to 565 kilometers per hour or 351 miles per hour, making it a swift and versatile aircraft. As for production numbers, around 1,200 HE-177s were produced during the war. While this may seem like a substantial figure, production faced various challenges, including Allied bombing raids and resource shortages. The HE-177's combat prowess was felt across the European theater. With its impressive bomb load and long-range capabilities, it was a formidable weapon in the hands of the Luftwaffe. One of the most significant contributions of the HE-177 was its role in strategic bombing campaigns. It played a crucial role in targeting enemy infrastructure, industrial centers, and military installations. In numerous engagements, the HE-177's bombing capability proved decisive. From the Blitz on London to operations on the Eastern Front, its devastating payloads wreaked havoc on enemy forces and civilian populations alike. The HE-177's ability to strike deep into enemy territory forced Allied forces to divert resources to air defense, impacting their overall war effort. However, the HE-177 was not without its shortcomings. Its complex design and technical issues led to production delays and reliability concerns. Engine fires and structural failures were not uncommon. Furthermore, its lack of adequate defensive armament made it vulnerable to enemy fighter attacks. The absence of sufficient fighter escorts left HE-177 formations exposed to interception. Among the notable variants were the HE-177A and the HE-177A-5. Let's delve into their differences and their roles in the war effort. The HE-177A was the initial production model, featuring a unique 4-in-1 engine layout. However, this innovative design proved to be plagued with reliability issues, particularly with its engines. The HE-177A-5 variant addressed many of the reliability concerns of its predecessor. It featured improved engine configurations and enhanced defensive armament, making it more resilient in combat situations. The HE-177A-5 became a workhorse of the Luftwaffe's strategic bombing operations, 
capable of delivering devastating blows to Allied targets deep within enemy territory. The HE-177A-5 was a significant improvement over earlier variants. Its reliability and increased firepower made it a formidable weapon in the hands of Luftwaffe crews. The Heinkel HE-177, a groundbreaking aircraft of its time, left an indelible mark on aircraft design and military strategy. The HE-177's design pushed the boundaries of aircraft engineering with its unique 4-in-1 engine layout, allowing for a powerful yet streamlined profile. This design influenced subsequent bomber aircraft, inspiring advancements in aerodynamics and engine placement. In terms of military strategy, the HE-177 played a pivotal role in Germany's bombing campaign, targeting strategic allied installations and supply lines. Its long-range capabilities enabled deep penetration into enemy territory, disrupting logistics and morale. Beyond World War II, the HE-177's legacy endured in post-war aviation developments. Lessons learned from its design and operational history contributed to the evolution of strategic bombing doctrine and aircraft technology. Today, several Heinkel HE-177 aircraft are preserved in museums around the world, serving as tangible reminders of its impact on aviation history. These historic artifacts provide valuable insights into the technological innovations and challenges of World War II era aircraft. Comment below of what thing I should talk about next and subscribe for more.